We're staying in Ondo State, where the wife of the state governor, Betty Anyawa Akiridolu, has condemned the high prevalence of gender-based violence in the state. She urged victims to speak out their, about their ordeal as silence emboldens perpetrators to continue to act. The Ondo governor's wife was speaking at a press briefing to flag off the 16 days of activism on gender-based violence, tagged United Activism to End Violence Against Women. In a remark, Special Advisor to Governor Keredolu on Gender, Olumi De Falano, said everyone must be involved in stemming the tide of gender-based violence across board. The biggest crime you can commit on an individual is the worst human right against any individual. And if we perceive it as such, what are we doing? Do we have strategies to stop this thing or reduce it? Uh, we may not be realistic to say that we are stamping it out right now, when majority of you don't even know what is that law. You see? You see where the problem lies now? They are fighting a cause for us. We don't even know what it is. Look at the data. This amounts to millions, over 700 million women who would have been affected one way or another by gender-based violence, you know, and especially, the, and, and, and painfully though, this is usually perpetrated by those who are close to them. And that's because the family sphere seems to be the closest way, the closest point of um, uh, perpetration of gender-based violence. That is to say every woman in the world, it's not even just one out of three, every woman, you may be lucky to escape rape, but you may not be lucky to escape back while you're, back, you're beaten in the house. You may be lucky to escape as a lady, but you may not be able to escape as a single mother when you get married. And not the least is endless. 